My favorite way to pray is with Ignatian spirituality, doing a meditation in which I sit with a piece of scripture and see how it speaks to me, a contemplation in which I imagine a scene from Jesus's life, or do an examine in which I reflect on my day and see where God is. That's how I like to pray. My favorite way to pray is walking. My favorite way to pray is to bask in nature, sitting in stillness, knowing that God gazes at me with love. My favorite way to pray is when we come together as a community for the Liturgy of the Hours and we bring before God all of the needs that are in the world, especially those whom we serve and those who are suffering. Other than reading special prayers every day, some of my favorite ways of praying is to have my favorite cup of coffee early in the morning, listening to the birds, and just being quiet and being still to start my day. My favorite way to pray is in front of the Blessed Sacrament because Jesus is so leader. And also our founder invite all the oblates to pray in front of the Blessed Sacrament as a sign of unity. So we are united as one church in Christ. My favorite way to pray is in my bedroom in my prayer chair with the scripture and a cup of coffee right beside me. My favorite place for prayer is in the chapel in front of the Blessed Sacrament where it's peace and quiet. My favorite way to pray is dancing. No, that's not true. My favorite way to pray is centering prayer. I love to be in silence and let the Spirit come over me. Of course, I also love nature and I find God in every single um, item in nature, nature. One of my favorite ways to pray is the rosary. Uh, my grandfather has made thousands of rosaries. This is one of the ones that he made me. And I try to follow in his footsteps and make rosaries. My favorite place to pray is this rocking chair in front of Jesus. You can find me here all between 4.30 and 5 each morning as I begin my meditation. One of my favorite ways to pray is at Mass, at the local parish, just looking around and imagining the cares and concerns that people carry with them, but then offering that great prayer of thanksgiving to God as church, as community, as one.